Hi, welcome. We're going to talk about central angles today in a circle. We're just going to hit the basics. Um, what are central angles? How do we find the measure? How is the measure of the angle related to the arc that it intercepts? And also the notation. Um, it will just kind of help you lay a foundation so that if you move forward with this topic in geometry, you'll be more prepared to work on more complex problems. So if it helps you to write this down, the um, definition, the loose definition of what a central angle is, is right here at the top of the screen. It's an angle with the vertex on the center of the circle. So if we look at our picture, the center of this circle is O, and it is also the vertex of this angle. The vertex just means it's where the two pieces of the angle come together. Um, and another term that you're going to hear me say, and you're going to um, hear textbooks say, and that sort of thing, is the intercepted arc. So angle AOB intercepts this arc, this part of the arc of the circle, all right? So it may sound a little intimidating, intercepted arc, but it's just what is the arc that is between the two parts of the angle? So let's just back up a little bit and um, talk about how we would use correct notation for naming this angle. So if we have a central angle and we want to name it according to the picture that we have there, we want to start with our angle symbol, which is either that without the little um, mark, or I tend to do this. So we have the angle symbol so that anyone that's reading it knows we're talking about an angle. And then we um, can name this angle A, O, B. The important thing about naming an angle when you're using three letters is to make sure that the vertex is the middle letter. So we put O squarely in the middle because that's the format. Um, I also, just before I go on, we could have also named this angle B, O, A. That's completely fine. Um, so either of those is your angle. Um, then I have some definitions here for arcs. A minor arc just means an arc that is taking up less than half the circle. In our notation, we would use two letters. Don't overthink it. Um, if I want to talk about arc AB, I'm going to put the two letters A and B next to each other, and I put a little arc over it. That is the geometry notation for arc AB. It just saves us from having to write out the words arc AB. Um, a major arc is more than half the circle. Um, so the way that I have the picture drawn right here, I can't really name it yet. I need to use three letters. So I'm going to put a little dot here and I'm going to call that point C. So if I want to talk up about the major arc here, um, whoops, this arc here, B, C, A, I want to, sorry, I want to write the order of the letters as if I'm walking around it. So arc, I start at point B, I would pass point C next and I would end up at A and stop there. So that is um, one way to note that. Another way obviously would have been the other way around. I could have started at A, gone to C, and ended at B. So these are major arcs because you can see they go along more than halfway around the circle. All right, um, and the last thing before we start doing some problems is that the measure of a central angle is going to equal the measure of the intercepted arc. And that's what we're going to use for the most part. This angle here, if this here was, say, 40 degrees, then this arc here would also be 40 degrees. So the angle equals the arc only for central angles. All right, let's take a couple uh, problems that we'll look at. Um, so this top picture, we have a circle. We can see it, um, a central angle again. It just happens to be labeled AOB again or BOA, whichever, they want us to find the value of X. Literally, there's hardly any math to do. It's just looking at the picture, realizing it's a central angle. Central angles are equal to the arc. So the value of X is 82 degrees. So in this case, we're using the ge geometry, ge geometric logic, I guess, rather than setting up an equation and solving it. Um, the bottom problem says find the measure of arc WF. All right, so again, we should write the notation like that. I'm going to find it on my picture. Here's WF. There only did two letters in the um, problem that we're looking for. So I know we're doing the minor arc. And again, I know that this is a central angle. And central angles equal the intercepted arc. So arc WF also has to be 140 degrees. All right, we are going to kick it up just a slight notch. Um, this one here, we have a circle that has a handful of um, central angles. So what I tend to do is sometimes I'll mark things up. I'm going to mark this and I'm going to say, all right, those two are congruent. Then I'm going to mark this big one up 
And this big one of 140 also will be congruent to that arc. And then finally, I have this third one, um, this guy here would be congruent to this arc here. So let's just put those numbers right in. Um, so we see that the angle of 80 has to be congruent to the arc, so that has to be 80. This angle of 140 has to be congruent to this arc, so we're gonna label that 140. So let's see what we have, um, if we have any information that can already solve some of these problems. The first problem says, can we find arc RP? That's our notation, RP. Um, let's find it on our picture, it is here. We already have it marked down, so that's 140 degrees. The next, they want us to find arc RQ. Again, let's go to the picture and find RQ. Here is RQ. Again, we already have that marked, and that's 80 degrees. So marking up your picture can save you a lot of headache, and it makes you find the answers really quickly. Next, they want us to find the value of S. Um, S is this third angle in the circle. We don't know what that is. So what we're going to use is we're going to use the fact that circles add up to 360. All of the angles have to add up to 360. So we're going to take 360. We're going to minus out this angle here of 80. And we're also going to minus out this angle here of 140. And whatever's left over will have to measure be the measure of C. I'm sorry, S. So grab your calculator. We're doing 360 minus 80 minus 140 and that gives us 140 as well um, so we can write that in and we can kind of double check um, we just did this problem but let's double check that when we add up these three values which make up the entire circle that it does come out to be 360 so 140 plus 80 plus 140 does give us 360 so we are set to keep on going the next question asks us to find arc QRP. So I wanna find that, and the way that I'm gonna find it in our picture is to follow the order of the letters. I'm going to start at Q, and then I'm gonna walk pat, like pretend I'm walking. So Q going to R, going all the way to P. So we can see that it's this big arc here, and it's made up of the two smaller arcs that we found. So we just add those up. So 80 plus 140, when we add those up, we get 220. And then the last um, question on this problem, we're gonna find arc PQ. So let's go find it on the picture. Arc PQ is here. And we already have it marked up. So it's the benefit of marking up our picture as we go. We didn't have to think too hard. We could just see that the answer is 140 degrees. All right, let's try. Okay, in this circle, we have a bunch of central angles again. Um, let's uh, talk about this mark. This mark here is a symbol that means we have a right angle, which means that that's 90 degrees. So I'm going to mark that in right away. I'm also going to um, immediately start marking up the picture based on the fact that central angles are congruent to their intercepted arcs. So if this is 50, that is 50. If this is 90, this arc is 90. And then I um, don't know what X is, but this big arc here would also equal X. Um, so it won't hurt to mark that up. Now let's tackle the questions that they're asking us. They're asking us to find arc PN. So again, let's go back. You always have to kind of start with the picture and say, all right, where is this thing? So if we go find arc PN, it's right here. We've already labeled it 90 degrees. Next question, we're looking for arc MN. So again, let's go find it. MN is this one here, short and sweet. It's a minor arc, and we already have it labeled. So that's 50 degrees. Find arc MNP. All right, so we're going to start at M. We're going to walk by N, and we're going to end up at P. All right, it does have, um, this is a minor arc. They did use three letters. That's okay. Um, and we notice that it's made up of two arcs. So we're going to add those two arcs together, 50 plus 90 gives us 140. And then finally, they want us to find the value of x. So we're going to use the property once again that we have 360 degrees all the way around the circle. We're going to minus out 90. We're going to minus out 50. Um, and again, if you just grab your calculator or do that in your head, you should get an answer that x equals 220 degrees. All right, let's look at another one. This will be our last one. We are looking for the measure of the unknown angle. And if you want to put an X in there, you can. It's up to you. Um, if you want to hit pause and try this problem on your own and then come back and hit play and see if you got it right, that is totally fine. 
um, the math behind this again, we're using the fact that we have 360 degrees. We're going to subtract out the 103. We're going to subtract out the 43. We're going to subtract out the 108. And we're going to subtract out the 47. So grab your calculators, run those numbers through. Uh, minus 108 minus 47. I got 59. All right, and again, what I can do to double check my answer, if I add up all of these numbers, I should end up getting 360. So I'm just gonna take a second to do that. Plus 43, plus 108, plus 47, and I do get 360 degrees, so I know that my answer is fine. Again, this is just kind of the basics of a central angle. We're recognizing how to find them. We're recognizing their intercepted arcs. We're getting used to the notation. There's plenty of other angles that are um, can be parts of circles that are on other videos, um, but this is just plain and simple central angles. They're probably one of the easiest ones to learn, and uh, I hope this helped out.